If you're watching the show, then chances are you've seen a baseball game, which also means you're familiar with how perfect the ballpark grass always is. Well, a lot of thought and effort goes into creating that perfection. And on this episode, we're at Mississippi State to learn the art of the grass. I'm Leland, and welcome to Sports Dissected, the series. All right, guys, so I'm here with Mr. Brandon Harden, the sports turf superintendent. superintendent. Got it right. Got it. Attaboy. We're here, Mississippi State. What can we expect to see today? Well, I have the pleasure of showing you one of the finest baseball stadiums in the country. I am privileged to maintain one of the best surfaces in the country, and that's what I'm going to show you today. What does your title entail? Like you said, I'm the sports turf superintendent. Now, that is wearing many hats. That's not just here at baseball. We maintain any outdoor activity, football, baseball, soccer. So we have to, have to be adaptable. A lot of that you'll see in this one facility. We were kind of talking a little bit off camera. This place holds a special place in your heart because you help design it, is that correct? That's right. So when we built this field in 17, this is a $68 million facility. But I was incorporated and used widely in the building of this facility, especially the field. Well, what was your, what's your favorite part in the, uh, in the facility that uh, you kind of put your hands in? It's not just one thing, it's the whole picture. As you'll see, as I have an assistant here, I've been through several assistants in the last few years that have moved on to bigger and better things. You know, this place has a unique history. It has a fantastic reputation. People come and get our kids strictly because of the way that what you're fixing to see. Well, you're talking about the turf, you're talking about the striping. I wanna go check it out. I have a lot of questions. Let's Cause go. you guys, you guys, you guys do turf here, right? Yep. Let's it. do it. Let's go. So explain uh, what we're kind of doing right now. Uh, right now we're stripping off the game mound, stripping all this excess material. How am I doing so far? Pretty good. Pretty good. So we'll put it on one foot, and then we measure our six inches off the front, and we'll just put a nail right there. We'll come out our 18 inches. Right out here. Okay, so now we have it uh, lined out. What's next? So we'll uh, we'll get the hose out and give it a little bit of water, and then we'll put some clay down, and we'll just get it like as level as we possibly can. That's a tamp. It's, it just tamps the clay down and packs it in real nice and tight. It's got a joint right there at the handle so you can basically hit it any way you want to and it's going to be flat. How we looking? Looks good. Looks right. really good. So it's pretty much flat. If you feel like with your feet, like what a pitcher would feel, you can feel a lot better than you can see. So like, you, you know, it may look low or look high, but like you feel with the front of your feet. Pretty bellow. Yeah, and that's what, you know, that's what you want the pitchers to feel. And then you'll drive this down. You just take this ruler, and it should be at one inch, which it is. So it's perfect right there. And you'll come down to the two foot, so two inches. Yep. Perfect right there. Shout out to the team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Since everything's perfect, or pretty close to it. We'll give this a shot of water, kind of like we did that. We'll scratch it up and then we'll just take that rake and run the clay down it and just fill in these little imperfections. All right, guys, so I'm here with uh, Dr. Stewart, Associate Professor of Agronomy. Agronomy. The first thing I think of when I hear turf is the synthetic stuff, but turf is actually not the synthetic grass, correct? Or how does that work? Turf grass allow turf to get stolen from them. And the next generation of artificial turf came out in this field turf, and 
these others that had infill in them, they just began to call that turf. What we're seeing out here is the, the leaves, the above ground part of this turf grass plant. There's a, two types of grasses out here right now. There's perennial ryegrass overseeding, and then there's Bermuda grass underneath that. Does the type of grass affect the way that a field is striped? The ryegrass really helps us with striping. Perennial ryegrass has a, a duller side and a shiny side. When we're looking at light colored strips here, you're seeing grass that's laid away from you, and then grass that is coming toward you, or when we're, when we're looking at the dark, we're looking down into the canopy. Now it's the time to make the field look good, right? Yep. Yep, it's time to uh, stripe the grass up, make it look pretty for everybody. All right, so let's, let's give it a shot. Well, All right. Good. All right. Here we go. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> it's, it's a lot harder than it looks, isn't it? Heck yeah. <laughs> you got it. I don't want to keep you in here longer than you need to be. <laughs> nah, you're good. Some of my lines are crooked. Yeah. You said this a little bit easier? Just a little bit easier. What are, what are the techniques and what are the Trick of the trade. Uh, gotta keep it straight. <laughs> You'll feel a little bit of pull back and forth, but just kind of keep it straight. These lines right here, right in the middle, those two lines. Just keep the steering wheel in between those two lines. Go ahead and hop on there. Here we go, guys. Am I straight? Uh, ah, what does that mean? Oh, it'll crook it. All right. Hard. That's your first try. All right. So, guys, if you happen to be tuning into the SEC network anytime soon, look at this outfield. These last two stripes. That's your boy. Hopefully, I can do this, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this, is, this is pretty simple. What are we gonna do here? So this is this is our finished drag. You saw yesterday we floated everything out, got it even, and then rolled it down. This will stand up that material and it'll just give it a nice light layer of top dress and it just finish everything out, makes it nice and smooth for them to come out here and play on. Well, let's go ahead and get it started. All right. And then you'll just put the left side of that drag right down on the inside of that. And you just do that until the whole thing's drug out. Okay. How's she looking? Looks good. Looks All good. Right. Almost perfect. What is this step? This is what we call a pull push. We pull material back up to this front edge and then push it off. Basically, it just seamlessly ties everything in from our dirt to our edges because you don't want any any inconsistencies going from dirt to grass because it'll make bad hops. You know, like you'll have people fielding ground balls in the grass at times and you don't want a ball to pop up and hit anybody. You want it to just seamlessly transition from dirt to grass. It makes it almost perfect as it can. Okay. So you'll just pull this material back right up here to this edge and then you just kind of push it off. And you'll just do this pretty much all the way around. So you want to give it a try? Yes, sir. You kind of just want to lightly go off the top of it whenever you do it. There you go. That's about perfect right there. When it comes to locker rooms, it's only two types of people. There's everyone else, and then there's shield lockers. 
Since 2014, Shield's number one priority has been to disrupt all industry standards by blurring the line between traditional function and modern masterpiece. With their use of non-traditional materials such as solid surface, they're able to set their clients' imagination free. The Brooklyn Nets and Kansas Jayhawks trusted them, and you should too. Visit shieldlockers.com to unlock your dreams. But beware, because this isn't your father's locker room.